Hello, welcome back to Bolt Action CP for another uh, Bolt Action Battle Report. So today we're doing a, another tournament prep game. So far I'm 0 for 2, so it's not looking good for the tournament. Except uh, you brought your A team this time. I did, I brought a different list. So Andre's back uh, from his world tour. <laughs> and uh, so same rules, 1,000 points, 12 order dice limit. Um, this is the board we're playing on, another city board. Uh, the mission we're playing is, which one is it? Demolition. So we have a, um, each have a base four inches from the edge that you have to get to the other guy's base and touch it and blow it up. And then you win. So, just real quick, we'll just show where the bases are. There's Andre's base. He got the high roll, so he picked this side, put his base there, and I put my base right there. So that's it for the board. Uh, we'll go over the forces. Okay, here's my Germans. So I have 12 order dice. Uh, I have Lieutenant. And man with assault rifle, veteran, all of my uh, infantry are veteran. These are SS, three squads of six men, SS, three assault rifles, two Panzerfausts, and three rifles each. And then I have my assault engineer squad with one Panzerfaust, who's the guy with the blue circle around his base. Uh, the rest are submachine guns and a flamethrower. I have my SS um, Panzer Shrek. Let's see, I got a SS, uh, what's that thing? Nebelwerfer. I have a regular heavy mortar. So this regular German army standing in, helping out uh, with spotter. I got my uh, Wesp self propelled medium howitzer. Uh, regular, I believe. Kuba wagon for the Panzer Shrek. Heavy field car for the um, engineers and a truck with a machine gun so it can hold two two squads. So that's it. I think it's 1,000 points exactly. So we'll go see what the British have. For the British, this is my revised uh, list after the last go-round. So it's similar, a couple changes. Um, I've up the uh, Gurkhas, I'm now looking at two full 10-man squads, all with uh, rifles, but they are Gurkhas. I've got my free uh, observer, two five-man paratrooper squads, all with SMGs, second lieutenant with a buddy with a machine gun. Veteran? Uh, everybody's veteran. Okay. And uh, my heavy mortar with spotter. I've also got a light howitzer with spotter, which I need to get the spotter out. And we've got my AEC with the uh, 75 millimeter. We've got the Bren with a um, Pintel uh, machine gun also, not shown. And then two recovered German uh, trucks with SMGs, or medium machine guns. Mm, yeah. um, to uh, also known as Gurkha haulers. Okay. So the interesting thing is that the British, I think, are the only people that can take a spotter with a light howitzer. Really? Yeah, like the Americans can't, the Germans can't. Interesting. And it also fires as a light AT gun, right? That's uh, so. why I downgraded. Last time I had it as the medium, I had the points for it, but with the 30 inch minimum range on indirect fire, I found it problematic and being able to load an anti-tank uh, shell in there is really nice for uh, dealing with transports on these uh, low point lists. Or the light tank. Yeah, I'm not expecting anything really heavy rolling in and if uh, they do spend three, four hundred points on something... Um, like a Pershing? <laughs> I will probably uh, mostly be ignoring it anyway because, yeah, uh, um, you know, there's just not much you can do about it and it hopefully won't be a huge factor. All right, so we'll go ahead and decide uh, in this mission, anyone, you can leave half your forces in reserve or you can bring them all in. So we'll, we'll go ahead and decide who's, who's going where and we'll come back with 
with that. We have now de completed deployment. Uh, Andre brought all of his stuff on. I left in reserve. I left my engineer squad in the field car outflanking. Um, so over here on my side. So we can deploy up to 12 inches from our edge. So we've all done that. Um, so I have my Nebelwerfer there in the corner. Heavy mortar. Spotter for heavy mortars up there. Uh, down in the building here, I got one squad of SS. Uh, here in my truck, I got two squads of SS in there. Empty Kubo wagon. My Panzer Shrek, my officer, and my Wesp self propelled gun. And on Andre's side, he's got his heavy mortar in the ruins there. Truck with Gurkhas? Yep. Is that the one with the officer? No. Okay. The second one has the officer. So one squad of Gurkhas. He's got a paratroop squad, a 25 pounder, another truck with Gurkhas and the officer, armored car, and Bren with paratroopers. And a bunch of spotters. Mortar spotter. And. You got three spotters? Yep. So mortar spotter, free spotter, and the spotter for the 25 pounder. Yep. So here, here's, yeah, that's it. So it's uh, Andre's 1100 points versus my 1000 points. That's the way I'm going <laughs> to be referring to it from now on. <laughs> 1000 point tournament, except if you're British, then you get 1100 points. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get All right, started. So first die, first die coming out. Okay, British. For first die, we got a big uh, gun over here. So I'm gonna move down the road, and I can uh, do a 24-inch move to there, and then pop out. But you know what? I'm gonna double time it. So that gives me up to a 48-inch. So running the truck. Running the truck. Next dice. Ah, the Germans. Let's see if we can get do something here. All right, so I'm gonna fire my Nebelwerfer at the 25 pounder, and I will get a dice for everyone within six inches. All right, so I'm firing the Nebelwerfer at uh, 25 pounder. With the Nebelwerfer. Oh. So everyone within six of him, I get to roll a D, uh, D6. I totally forgot about that. So thing. the first guy, truck. Nope. Uh, the car and the infantry squad. <sighs> wow. Yeah, here we go again. I skated on that. <laughs> okay, next guy. Germans yeah. again? Uh. Well, Germans will do a uh, heavy mortar shot on, actually, no we won't. Okay, uh, I moved my uh, howitzer up, and I'm going to fire on the 25 pounder, so moved, hard cover, so sixes. Yeah, three inch template. I think you yes. got them. What's the crew on that three? Uh oh, it is only a three man crew, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. So you're gonna hit all three of them. So anything but. So three dead. So you just took it out. Yep. Wow. Yes, the Germans finally did something. Wow. Nicely done. Yeah. Next dice. Well, first I got to. Uh, I'll pull one of them out. You would die. All right, thank you. And the next die is ah uh, the British. The British. So firing the armored car on the truck. Yep. So we're just looking at uh, threes, right? Uh, Normal range. Problem is, can you get within an inch of your guy? <laughs> You're kind of close to your own truck, aren't you? Or does that not apply to vehicles? Um. You know, 
think you might be a little too close. Let me look at the rule real quick. I, I think maybe a vehicle doesn't apply. Okay, so he cannot fire the armored car because so we'll move the truck. he could damage it. So the rule is if you you can ignore the one inch rule if the weapon firing can't hurt the model. So like a rifle shooting within one inch of a tank, you could do that. But in this case, the armored car could definitely hurt the truck. So he's going to do something else. And that's going to be move his Gurkhas. So, and I didn't think about, uh, because I'm using trucks with fixed machine guns rather than the pintle mounted that I was supposed to have. Why are, why are they not pintle mounted? Because, um, so these are considered uh, 360 degree I think whatever, arc. yeah, I mean, they're British trucks. We just don't have any British trucks. So. Okay. I wasn't sure if we were going as modeled here, so. No, well, we can if you want. Uh, not really. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I was going to actually double turn my truck so the machine gun was forward. But if we we're uh, just saying those are pintle mounted, yep. I would do what I would normally do, and that's just run up. Not run up. Normal move. And coming up tight to this truck. Okay. That still has guys in it. All right. And actually, they both have guys in it, but. So there's that. Next shooting. Guy. You're gonna shoot. Oh. You're gonna shoot That's the right. Machine I gun. Can shoot. Um, shooting the spotter. All right. You're just gonna try to hose down the spotter. So that's five shots. I think right at the beginning of this game, I said, "Who would waste shots on the spotter?" Oh, well, here we yes, go. Yes, you did. <laughs> Andre, All that's you. All I need is sevens. Oh, you got a six. And. Ooh. Nope. All right. <laughs> Next die. British again. again. So now you'll take your shot. Now I'll take my shot. Okay. So, um, straight line. So just a three. Just needing a three. Don't hit my truck. Hit the truck. Ooh. I mean, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. <laughs> I don't know too many kids who watch these. Usually adults. Well, All right, British again. I'm pretty sure I didn't say what I said, so, um, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I can't <laughs> double time across that, though, can I? Um, no. Shoot. Okay. All right. So, uh, we're just going to come up and, um, I can't even, can I even get across it? You can advance. Probably right up it. onto it. Yeah, but then I still can't double time off of it. Right. Some rubble. A little bit of rubble in the... Not Last game I had around. two tank traps, like right here. <laughs> so there was no going through there. Okay. All right. So I will come up and I'll unload uh, both LMGs on okay. those dudes. So that's uh, eight shots. Okay. So moved. Long range. Long range, so fives. Yep. Three hits. Three hits. And hold on. All right, so they're regular, I think. <laughs> My... Okay, so, so four, six, four. three dead. I think that's all of them. I think they only have three guys. I don't know if I can get my internet connection to work. I would know this. Well, let's, let me let me reroll the yes. Okay, so let me check. All right, so he is regular, and he does a four-man crew. So I was, I'm was i down to one, so I need to take a morale test at minus one. So I need an uh, eight. Nine. Nope, he runs off. I am uh, British. <laughs> I'm lucky I just got that one shot in, because I never get shots like that this early in the game. Yeah, <laughs> Ever. I forgot all about that, dude. <laughs> All right, next die. But it's quite common for you to wipe my units out in the first turn. <laughs> I don't know why. I usually just, I start rolling good around turn four usually. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bounce my Gurkhas out. All right. So they're gonna come out and set up in that. Uh... Okay. All right, firing on the truck. So, so ten guys. Three, six, seven, eight, ten shots. 
Eden sevens. And this is always the one-off kind of random pin that does someone in usually. Kind of just. Well, only if you I don't hit think it. About Whoa. It. Okay, four, four sixes. I hate seeing that many sixes, but uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure you do. I guess. Well, <laughs> there are Damn. places I'd rather use those sixes. Whoa, two hits. Two hits with sevens. All right. And actually, I can't do anything. Can't do it. Can't. No, you can. Oh. So a pin. Nothing. Pins all around. Two pins. All right. Next die. One pin per model. So yeah, two guys in. All right. So. What do you have left? You can't get out of that truck in the front. You still nope. have an officer in there. I've still got uh, paratroopers here. And those paratroopers I over got there. Those paratroopers and the mortar. over there and the mortar. And the goddamn free guy. <laughs> ah, I hate that bastard. Family friendly, Travis. <sighs> I just really hate that model. Uh, let me think about this. All right, I'm going to try to advance the truck. <whistles> he makes it. All right, truck advanced. He's going to fire on the Gurkhas. Uh, needing sixes. Yes. You're in trouble, man. I'm rolling sixes early tonight. Yeah, well, so uh, am I. Needing fives. Come on, give me one dead. Ooh. Oh. Look out. Two dead. So two dead Gurkhas and a pin. All right, next die was Germans. So I'm going to get out of the... I'm going to get my one squad of SS out of the truck, so I'll be right back. Okay, so can you measure that uh, range on to those guys? So not long range for my assault rifles. I have to be within nine. So just hard cover. So here's assault rifle shooting. Um, fives. Uh, two hits, so another pin, and just a pin. Uh, I'm going to fire one of my uh, Panzerfausts at that truck right there. Okay. That's long range, move, so sevens. I can do this. <laughs> nope, not this time. And I have a... Uh, Um, another rifle. So I miss, and that's it. So just a pin on the on those guys. Next dice, British. British. All right, Andre is going to do his famous mortar shot. Go oh down. God. Oh man, it's sad that I even th have to think about going down. <laughs> <laughs> but I know how you roll mortars. Yeah, go for it. All right. Uh, next die is British again. Okay, so he's putting the guys in the truck who ran down. Give him a down order. So next die. Germans. You major from the front of your truck to mine, and you are uh, not making it. So it's a 12 inch range. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So from the front of the truck to me is 18 and a quarter inches. Okay, so I won't make it. So you didn't make it. So I guess I won't be shooting my Panzer. So I got my guys out of there, advanced to there. I was going to try to split some fire by firing the Panzer Faust at the armored car. But apparently I can't make it. So do they actually fire? Well, I would have to, de I could declare it, yeah. But these guys can split fire, though. Right. So I can fire with everyone else at something else. Those Panzerfaust are one shot, right? Right. That's it. Yeah. So if I declare it and I don't, I don't fire it. I just don't shoot it. Oh, it's, I it, thought you. Okay. It's not like I would shoot and miss. It's just, oh, they're out of range. I can't make it. So. Okay. Um. So the other four guys are shooting at. So what is the range to it then? Um. For the other guys, you're at. Uh, well, no, man. for the the two Panzerfausts. Um, they're at. Well, here, <laughs> you went slightly over six. Uh, 
because we're down to an eighth inch. So it should be uh, eight and an eighth, or no, 12, 12 and an eighth. Okay, I'm gonna fire, uh, everyone else is gonna shoot at, uh, let's see here, that squad or that squad? What do I wanna shoot at? Uh, I'm gonna fire at the those guys over there. So am I within 18 of them? Uh, Dang it, those freaking walls suck. I hate these walls I made, they're so light. They just fall over if you... You are within 18 on those. Guys. Okay, so long range, hard cover. And... They will uh, go down. Okay, sevens. So sevens. And you get a six. Oh, another oh. six. Holy crap. What is going on here? So a pin, and then a five up. No. It would have been nice to kill one of those guys. That would have been quite the shot. Okay, so next die. Germans. Okay, advanced the squad of SS up. Uh, that got rid of the mortar counter. And I will now fire on the Gurkhas. So the assault rifles are sixes, long range, hard cover. Holy sh... What's going on here, Andre? Uh, you, what you am, are going to fizzle uh, late game, Like you, what this usually means. Like you, like you usually do? <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then sevens for the uh, rifles. Ooh, okay, and then needing fives. Two more. Holy. So just two dead and a pin. These guys are doing some serious rolling, these Germans, tonight. All right, British. Neck got the next die. What are you going to do? What you got left? Oh, you got your free observer and your officer. Oh, and then that I'm gonna... squad of guys. I'm going to put my officer down. Okay. Next die. I'm going to put these guys down. Okay. And you're up. Germans. All right, so officer advanced, and he's going to fire on the squad of Gurkhas. So sixes. Another one. A five. Just a pin. Up to four pins. Next day. Germans. Okay. Um, what do I need to do here? I kind of screwed up because I forgot I was going to fire my Panzer. I was going to move my Panzer Shrek, fire at the car, but then I got these guys in the way. Actually, no, I can't shoot because I can't see through the wall. So I, all he can do is just advance, I guess. So he'll just uh, he'll just advance up. Next guy, me again, and this should be my last one, right? No, you got two or three more. Oh, I got guys in reserve. So and you have so you got one more and your guys in reserve. Okay. So the Kubo wagon, I'll just get that down order. That's, uh, so your last two are down orders for the reserve. Or no, you've got one more. Yeah, that. I got my heavy mortar left. Okay, so, um, my, uh, artillery is going and the rest are you. Okay, so where are you dropping it? Uh, uh, so the spotter dropped his free, uh, thing on, in the back of the truck. So, that was it for Andre, so I got two left, um... Well, two of them are going to be the reserves going down. So the last one I have left is the heavy mortar. And I should have tried to drop it on his ass on the uh, spotter instead of making, instead of putting a downer on the uh, Kubo wagon. Oh, well. Um, God, I'm kind of tempted to try to drop one on those guys. If I can clear them out <laughs> with a mortar. That would, uh, uh, that would be harsh. Of course, you could still take me out. That... Armored car will make short work of this thing. Um, I'm going to have to just keep piling on these Gurkhas in the middle. So, Come on, six. It's a six. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Holy crap. Hold on, I got the template here. Tony's template. You only got five of them. Only five. Holy cow. Okay. So, needing anything but. So, five dead. And three more sixes for good measure. So, five dead. And D3 pins. So, one pin... Five dead, another pin, and a morale test. Man. At minus five. But you got your officer. Uh, he's in the truck, so it doesn't I count. I think it does. Doesn't it? No, he's got to be out of the truck. He only counts for the truck and anybody in the truck with him. All right. So they, he, last guy runs off. So that will do it for turn one. It was a hell of a turn for the Germans, I'll tell you that. I haven't had a turn one like that since, well, I don't even know when, if never. Ten Gurkhas down. Kill the whole ten-man squad of Gurkhas in one turn. Well, I knew they'd take some fire, but man. They took fire from the truck, that squad, this squad, and the mortar. They took... And the officer. No, six, six, uh, you had six, well, no, five, they took, uh... From it, five different directions. Five, yeah, five different units. So we'll move on to turn two. All right, then. Here we go, turn two. So drop in the uh, artillery strike to yes. hit. And it's coming in. Oh, 12. 12 inches. Right, here we go. So 12 inches is going to be Here we go. Kuba wagon. Everyone. Did get, uh, didn't get your... No, luckily. So, one, two, three, just these, or these five. All right. Just five, yeah. Just five. <laughs> yeah, here we go. So, here we go. So, let's start here. So, can I go down? I can go down right now if I want, right? Um, I think we looked that up and you couldn't, as I recall. All right. You want it? To, let's uh, let's look it up. Nah, I'm not gonna go down. Okay. I'll just you sure get obliterated. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so those guys, nothing. Next infantry hit. So they take a hit. Uh, your officer, your other dude, and the truck. Hit. So two hits. So pins. These guys. One pin. Okay. Your officer, two pins. The other guy, three pins. All right. So what was it? Uh, one pin, two pins, or one pin. No, sorry. Right. So there we go. Two pin officer, three pin Panzer Shrek, one pin on the squad, and heavy howitzer hits on these two units. So three inch. Four inch. Four inch. Yeah. So that's the big one. Yep. So is that? Uh, we already hit that. Yeah, but if I, I can put the template anywhere and hit an additional unit, right? Uh, I think you got to center it. I don't think you can just clip the edge of the front fender and hit two okay, other units. Okay, so I so. got five here. Okay, five there and one and the there. the truck. Okay. So, the five uh, infantry. Oh, I got rolled five. five. Those. Two, three, four. That was a five. So you got three ones? Holy crap. And... So it's uh, two die. And, six, so and you can reroll a six. No, so two dead. Two dead. Okay, well, uh, hmm. Hmm. One. Oop. Uh, two rifles. Okay. And then on the truck. And then D6 pins on okay. them. Okay, so they're pins. Five, Five pins. Oh, God. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I have a free unit. Look at what he just wiped out half my army. <laughs> Two pins on the... Oh, wait, no. no that's a, a yeah, that's heavy right. howitzer to the top of the truck. Uh, so, plus four pin. Uh, four, five, six. Uh, Do you I get minus one for coming in from the top on a truck? Or is that uh, no, that's just armor. So, six. nothing? Uh, no, you hit it. Uh... Yeah, you, you do. You got a six. So you can roll on the table. Oh, right. Six. Okay. Yeah. So rolling on the table. So just stunned. Stunned. Yeah. And D6 pins. D6 pins. 
one so one two pins because he gets one for rolling on the table you automatically get one for getting hit so the truck's at two pins right. okay well it could have been worse uh i'll take it i got damn lucky with the three ones you rolled on the uh <laughs> on those guys okay go ahead and pull the die okay turn two now this is where the stoop that thing really is the worst about the thing it is all the pins yep now i gotta spend a turn rallying oh where, it was just gravy that i actually got two hits and one of them was on an infantry unit. it's like now i mean that's a free turn of free turn of me not doing anything for you now and i'm up first yep Okay, I'm going to start with the uh, truck that's got the lieutenant in it. He's going to back up, and I can back up six. He can go, yeah, 12. So, I'm staying on the road. I'm going to do a turn, and then uh, I'm going to... So All right, so machine gunning these dudes. Um, gun five shots. Yeah, five Two. shots. Needing fours. My, uh, needing fours. Three hits. Yeah. Thought about going down. I should have. Two uh, dead. Two dead. And another <sighs> uh, Take a rifle. And... Uh, I hate to take one of my uh, Panzerfaust out, but I guess I have no choice. I don't want to lose my assault rifles quite yet. And it's uh, your die. Oh, and another pin. So I got two pins. All right, so German channel. Yeah, so I'm advanced. I advanced my uh, howitzer up, and I'm going to take a shot at those uh, pan or those dudes in the building right they're there. Gonna, they're not going down. Okay, so sixes yep. moved in hardcover. Yeah, I missed. What is this? Used them all up. <laughs> I guess so. All right, next dice. Next die is... British. That would be British. So, the Brits... So, they're going to... All right, so jumping out with the lieutenant with two submachine guns. Oh, they have rifles. Uh, that's... I grabbed the wrong guys. So, two submachine guns coming out of the truck. I'm assuming shooting at these guys. Yeah. So yeah, they're just going to go down. I should have went down earlier, but I'm going down now. Okay. Going down. So, threes? Uh, no. Oh, you're down. Fives. Yeah. Long range. Long range? Oh. Because we're not point blank. Yeah, so... Sixes. Yep. You skated. Okay, well that was, I guess, good. Alright, next die. Okay. I guess I better start doing some rally in here, huh? Here's your chance. Um, yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna rally the, uh, Panzer Faust or Panzer Shrek. So he does, so he's down one plus six. So he's pin free. Alright, next die. Again. Uh I kinda wanna run the I got two, I need a eight. I think I might try to just pass an order with my officer. Okay. So got he him. does, so he's down one pin. All right, so I ran my officer up there. Next die is British again. All right, he's firing on the wasp. So advanced up and a four. No, I got cover. What from what? Oh, the wall. I'm half what? behind this building here. This building right here is half cover. Uh. uh. Let's see here. <laughs> I'm half <laughs> hidden. I mean, it's 50%, so 50% of me is behind the building there. Hmm. 
Okay. I thought you were just going to drive up here. Get um, point blank and I, fire. <laughs> I, I was just looking at this thinking I got uh, a full-on shot and I can still stay in cover, but... Oops. Hey, we're cheesing it up. <laughs> okay. Next die. Germans. Um, I guess I'm going to rally this squad. Who somehow came most unscathed from a heavy howitzer hit. <laughs> okay, so they make it. So they're one minus... Come on, give me a four up here. Ah, so I lost, what, three? three so I'm down to two. two pins. <laughs> Still got two pins. Damn, man. It's going to take me two turns to get rid of these stupid pins from that howitzer. Okay that. Not me. Okay. All right. Uh, Next die, British. And I'll okay. fire on these boys here. All right, so the truck of Gurkha is well, turned around and drove yeah. up. Hmm? I think I'm rethinking this a little uh, bit. All right. All right. Firing on the, uh, so moved up the truck with the Gurkhas and firing the machine gun on my truck. So, one hit. One hit. I got the pin. Yep. Another pin. So that three was, pins. That was the important part. Okay. Next die. Germans, huh? Uh, hmm. Who do I have left? So you rallied, rallied, ran. They went down. So all I have left is oh, I got my reserves. You got your reserves. Hmm. Your wagon, mortar, things in the building. I'll just go down with my Kubo wagon. Okay. And I'm up. All right, British Keep again. All right, so Gurkhas disembarked. There they are, and they're gonna unload their rifles. So, so point there. blank. Yep. So just well, threes. Yeah. Point blank. So threes and threes and fives. And. Three dead and two re rolls. Oh, oh, well, I don't really have any. I think they're all the same. Uh, Panzer, well, he actually doesn't have a Panzer house anymore because he fired at the that truck. Your officer? Uh, my NCO is this guy here. So, if I take him, can you immediately do your German thing? Or do you have to take your uh, morale check? <laughs> on, uh, you know, I played Germans for all these since we started, and I don't think I've ever done that. That rule. <laughs> That's why I always hated the German rules, the old ones. Yeah. It's like, well, one of the German rules was that replaced, and I don't ever, I've never used it. I think I can do it immediately. So on a four up, so you're gonna take the NCO out. No. Um. So I have uh, a rifle, uh, SMG. I'm gonna take these two dudes out. Okay, so you're leaving the NCO, all right? So, and another pin. So there are three pins, and i got to take a morale test. Oh, that's oh. not going to do it. <laughs> Good thing it's not a foo bar. So there's that for you. So there you go. Gurkhas! Gurkhas. Hey, I'm happy I took a 10-man squad out. If I don't win, I'll be happy with that, because I've never done that before. And Not against Gurkhas. Uh, another die for me. I'm going to okay. put my uh, another die. observer down. All right. Next die is me. Next die, British. I am going to... All right, trying to pass an order. Six, seven, got Good. it. Okay. Pin free. Pin free. Free is the wind. And we're going to just scoot down the wall. I move them 
behind co better cover, I guess. No, they technically were in cover, but they were in cover already. But uh, actually, I would do this, wouldn't I? Yep, fifty percent awesome. cover, firing okay. on that squad there. So two, four, six, eight, ten shots okay. on these down dudes. So sixes, so long range long down. Long range down. That's a lot of dice. One hit. One hit. Uh, I was hoping to get no hits. I got three pins again. Okay. Oh, Ooh. another one. Man, and now Andre's rolling all the sixes. Just to do Oh, uh, what do I have in here? Um, damn it. I want to keep my Panzer Shrek. Panzer Cross. I'm going to kick this guy out. All right, next die. Even though at this point, I doubt they're going to ever have a chance to do anything. Well. Um, I'm going to fire my heavy mortar at that Gurkha squad there. Okay. <laughs> Another six. Fun! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fun days! Fun me. Holy cow. So what do we got here? Uh, all of these guys, minus three. So seven. Anything but. Oh. Well, so five. Only got five of them. Five dead and just five dead. All right. This mortar is badass today. Uh, do they take some pins? Oh, yeah. Uh, D3 pins. So one pin and a morale test because you lost half your men. My lieutenant's within range. Okay. So... I think they're good. So you got nine, yeah. So you're a lieutenant. You would have been good either anyway, yeah. so. Alright, next die. <sighs> I'm still recovering from that. That was amazing. This is your turn. Again. Yes, so I'm going down. So he's going to fire on this squad with his heavy mortar. Yep. So I'm going down. Okay. Here it comes. Oh! Oh, it's a hit. <laughs> Luckily, I went down. Yes. So what do you got? Uh, all of them? Six. Six guys, so you can hit three. So I roll three? Yep. Nice down move. Well, I didn't really have anything to shoot at, so... So, two dead. And... Two dead. Alright, two dead. Now, I really gotta think about how I'm gonna... kit these guys out, because... I take the... I shouldn't have the bare rifles as meat shields, and arm the assault rifles with the... Panzerfaust. Because right now it's like, okay, well, I take out a Panzerfaust or a. Yeah. So I think I'm going to change that up. Because both. All my rifles. None of them have Panzerfaust? Yeah, they both do. Oh. Oh, I understand now. Yeah, so. But usually you want to split your fire. Yeah. So, did that. so I guess I'll take. I hate to do it, but I'll take out a assault rifle and a rifle. Okay. And how many pins? One pin. All right, next die. I'm right, gonna try to pass an order with the truck. At minus three. Minus three. Nope. So he just goes down. And that's why I shot the truck. Okay, next die. Is a me. You. So what do you have left? Actually, I'm gonna check the bag here. So. All I've got is the... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's your last die? No, the guy's in it also, but I'm stuck oh, on that right. rubble, so I can only go nine inches. Okay. So I'll go nine inches, and... So I think fire. I only have one die, I think. What's that? I only have one left, I think, or two left, I think. So moved, hardcover. All right, uh, LMGs from the brand on this squad, needing sevens. So we got uh, one, nothing. nothing. Oh, my dice doing over here. Yeah, get your dice on your side. Okay, uh, now the big question, do I leave the guys in the brand or do I start hoofing it? Uh, 
and so dark all of a sudden here. All right, so he stayed down in the brand. So all I have left is my reserves. Um, hmm, do I want to bring him in now or later? So I could get all the way down here and get out and flame the, take out the rest of that squad, but I got to worry about this squad too. Um, ah, but I do want to try to bring him in. So they are coming in, and I can't hurt the. Actually, I do have a Panzerfaust in there, don't I? Hmm. Okay, so I um, brought in my engineers, our pioneers here. We're going to take a shot with the Panzerfaust. So point blank moved, so just a three up. So it's a hit. Pen, I think that might be a double pen. You're only armor seven, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm armor some six, I believe. All right, so two rolls on the damage table. Snake eyes. Ooh. I'm on fire. You're on fire and immobilized. It's only the better. What's up? You don't, you don't double hit me. No, you do. When you roll two dice, you do both. Uh, both. Well, then it would be an automatic destroyed, wouldn't it? Because no, it's two uh, hits. No, it's only if it's immobilized twice. Yeah, I actually got okay. two different results. So you're immobilized and on fire. But it is. These are. So it's a, a pin for getting hit, and then it's another pin and another pin. So you got three pins. And a morale test. I'm sure about that. All right, so here we go. Needing a morale test. Needs a seven or better. Oh, it's a ten. Now, what happens to the guys inside? We've been playing that they get out. Yeah. And that doesn't, because it would be ridiculous to have that thing drive off with everyone in it, right? I would hope so. All right, so I think we got it sorted out. So we got the two hits on fire. And uh, immobilized, and he took three pins. One, one plus one for each of those, plus one for the hit. Failed his morale test, which was on fire. So if you fail the morale test for being on fire, the vehicle is knocked out. So D6 hits to the passengers, and they get out, and the vehicle is destroyed. Three hits. Uh, needing fives. Come on, give me at least one of these. Nope. So they get out with three pins. All right. Find and the vehicle is destroyed. Nice. All right, so that was it for turn two. So he got out with his three pins. He's in there. And no more free artillery coming in, thank God. So go to turn three. All right, here we go. Turn three. First die. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm going to start with my engineers. So we're just going to advance up. All right, so flamethrower. Can I go down? You can, but it won't hurt the flamethrower. It ignores down, but everything else will be uh, affected. Am I going to survive this? If All right, so you're not, you're not going down. You're not going down. All right, flamethrower. Come on, baby. Ah, I miss. And then two, four... Uh, six, seven. So these need point blank but heavy cover. So it's at uh, fours. fours. So Ooh, only two, two hits. hits. Oh man. Another pin. And I got one with the rifle. Good job, rifle. Oh, so a pin and one dead. Not as good as I was hoping. Okay, so four pins. I really needed more than that. All right. Next die. Heavy casualties. All right, I'm up, huh? All right, he's rolling, rolling still in. Get cover? No, no cover this time. <laughs> <man. laughs> but you could miss. I could miss. So you need a three. I missed with my. Uh, Flamethrower just a second ago, so. Oh, you missed. <laughs> oh, now you're point blank for me, though. Just a little bit. All right, here goes Gurkha Assault. Up and at him, so he doesn't need to. 
do anything there. And I do have range to your officer. All right. Roar. So I get to shoot at you, right? Um. Because you're more than six. Even though I'm assaulting out of cover. You're not in cover. Or does that have to do anything? <laughs> um, but I think I have to shoot at you from where you started, though. Not when you get around the corner. Yeah, so I get four shots with one pin. So sixes. No hits. Okay. And... So you get your five attacks. Five attacks. And they're tough fighters, so I got two and two I dead. to re-roll. Yeah, I'm dead. I I'm only have two, I only got two guys there. And I get to consolidate. Yep. Uh, two inches. Two. I wanted the big one. Uh, when I ran past your truck, your truck died. Okay. Andre and his truck shenanigans. <laughs> Alright, so he's moving there. Uh, Germans, or uh, British, pulled another die. But, the British have pretty much done everything they really wanted to do up front. Alright. You got three pins here. That was the truck. He's pin free, right? That's right. So... Ooh, I could shoot at your armored car, couldn't I? Uh, hmm. No. Yeah. Not from here. Well, I can't see it through the wall, unfortunately. Um. Or can he? No. No, he can't see that. Fire here. <laughs> All right. So I just gave him a free. Uh, he was not going to shoot until I opened I my big mouth. Have, <laughs> I might have figured it out, but. Uh, okay. So five shots. Well, hold on here. I might go down. What do you need? Uh, threes. Uh, Fours. Probably long range. Not 18. long range. Yeah, I'll go down. Okay. So point of die for down. Or down on die. Okay, so they're gonna go down. And nothing. No. He would have only got two hits if I didn't go down. Of course he could have wiped me out. <laughs> Next okay. die. That was that truck. Again. Again. Man, just when I need some dice in the beginning, I'm not getting any. Of course, I got, I did get the first one, though. Of course, I whiffed on it. That unit should be dead. So, what are we going to do? All right, so Andre advanced those guys out with his die and fire on them. They went down, and killed four, them. and they're all dead. So they had three pins, so I decided to go down. Um, and I lost it the unit. Matter. Uh, Another die. Now I've down five dice all of a sudden. And I hate to be a bitch, but <laughs> the fucking free observer once again stopped my push cold. <laughs> Putting out ten pins in one shot for no price. And every time I have a push going... That, that guy stops it almost every time. Okay. Only some, just with the pins. Even if it doesn't hit, then I gotta stop it. Yeah, it's. Mortar on the guys in the uh, top up there. Oh, you got another one? Oh my god. Ranged in. I need to get some dice here. Anything but. I'm going down. <laughs> I thought you might. So a hit. That's a hit. So I got four, so you hit two. So two hit. Uh, Got two dead. Two, oh. Um, and well, there's no more vehicles coming, so I'll just take out the two Panzerfaust now. Okay. Had a morale check yet? Yeah. So how many pins did I get? Oh, I, D3, right? Yeah. So Another two pin. pins. So they pass. Oh, man. Suddenly it's not looking good for me. I was doing good earlier. It's amazing how it just shifted, because I was thinking I was 
on well, the uh, cusp there. Yeah. But and it, everything I tried has been going well so far. All right, so, okay, do I have any dice in there? No. <laughs> I got one die. You got four dice left. Yeah, when can I get one? Well, I had four <laughs> dice, too. <laughs> yeah, but you've already pulled four. <laughs> I pulled one. Okay, so what do you, you have got left? your mortar left. Yep. Your Kuba wagon still. I got, uh... Is he armed? No. No, he's just a transport. What do you have left? Oh, the those guys. That's right. The infant. Did you airborne. roll uh, to see if your flamethrower ran out? Oh no, I did not. What, uh, that could be important. Uh, I did not. Okay, so he's still going. They can't shoot anyway. They're too close. If you attack, if you assault them. So assaulting four on six. Yep. Is it simultaneous or? No, you're. No, no you go first. Yeah, it's because well, and it doesn't matter how many pins you have, but you have up and at him. So. Um, yeah, it's not like I'm going to try and pass an order. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> okay. Alright, so the free charge. So you get yours and I get mine. God, man. I really whiffed it on that. Yeah. Big time. <laughs> I killed yeah. one. I was thinking I was going to kill like three oh, of them. I'm, I was amazed I wasn't just wiped. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I only get four shots? Six. Yeah, you get four shots. And re-rolling one. Re-rolling one? Tough fighter. Oh, I'm going to say, what is this, 40k? So you killed yeah. one. That's not going to do it, is it? Uh, <laughs> it might. Uh, what do I have? One, two, three, four assault uh, weapons. Does it matter? Doesn't okay. matter. Yeah, you're dead. I got two of you. Wait. You're stubborn? That doesn't do anything, though, right? It's no. only fanatic. Yeah. All right. Whew. That saved my ass. Oh. Oh. Everything except that. Well, I would have probably just called it at that point. Yeah. But um, now I'm... No, that really saved me. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have been uh, dead. Which I still might be, because it's... it's we're still... You still got Gurkhas, although not as many as you used to have. <laughs> this is true. Uh, I'm going to try um, and... Actually, I want to call for a measurement on your Kuba wagon. Kuba wagon? Oh, to see if you're closer? Uh, ten. Nine. Okay. So... I am an inch closer, so he's All still right. alive, so uh, I guess I could get him out of here, right? <laughs> if you wanted to save your die. Yeah, I do. Uh, he's not on the road, so I can't just take off, but I could just turn. There we go. Stay closer to your guy the whole way. Yep. Uh, so he just moved. All right, so the next die. Do you even have any die left, or are they all rest all mine? Uh, all right, so heavy mortar firing at these guys. They are outside of the minimum range. Heavy mortar at who? Oh, those guys? Yep. I've already hit twice with this thing. I can do it one more time, damn it. Nope. Okay, so... Oh, I never got a dice to put these guys down. Next die, a British again. So... The officer is going to jump back into the truck. All right. But the truck can't move. Really? No. Remember, that's we've decided the trucks are a one-shot weapon because I'm pretty sure you can't get in it and move or something. I don't know. I'll have to look at it, but... Yeah, I seem to recall. I remember him being wondering or thinking that they were kind of worthless because if you get out, you got to get in, and then they have to wait another turn to move. And I'll look it up, but go ahead and think about what you're doing. Um, Jump into the can't jump into it if it moved <laughs> that's what I mean it says I did read that where it said if it advanced or ran you can't get into it it can only get into a stationary vehicle but I don't see anywhere where it says that you can't I don't see in here where it says you can't do it if it uh, I'm sorry I was recording all right, yeah, this song. all right so we were very confused um, he moved the truck and then got in but it can't do that because you can't 
get in a vehicle that moved. But we can find nothing in the rules that say you can advance after you get in. Even though that's how we've always played it, and that came from somewhere, someone, who knows, I don't know. Probably flames. Something like that. So here we go. That actually makes them more useful now, the transports, because you can actually do something. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. Sort of. Yeah. Uh, so I got the last two dice. Yes. So one of them is my vehicle here. It'll just go down. And then, so all I got left is my tank. Now I got to decide what I want to do with my tank. Inquiring minds would like to know. <sighs> just try to go for the objective, huh? Or I could just back up and then turn and fire on these guys, but where's the fun in that? Well, it's, uh, I mean, he is kind of your last ditch for the objective. But... Or I could crash through the wall, blast those guys to hell, hope I don't get killed by that, and go to the objective. But if I want to win, that's the only thing. I'm going to do it. Screw it. Yeah, and you don't... All right, so I said, what the hell, and ran my uh, uh, tank over there. So I have to hope that when he gets his die over here, he misses on his shot. I don't think it's possible. So do we have anything left? No, you had the last two dice. Okay, so yeah, that was it for turn three. Wow. So let's go Around on to turn on four. Gurkhas, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm sorry. Turn three, I guess we weren't recording, but... So, I, yeah, here we go. So he pulled the first die. Okay, and we were just talking about why I'm not shooting him with my first die. Yeah, he's not worried about that guy shooting because, well, he can't shoot anything except that son of a bitch uh, free observer, and he will. If he survives the armored car, he will shoot well, him. What I am worried about is another mortar round on the Gurkhas. So, the Gurkhas are going to all butt around the corner here. Okay. So yeah, so he ran his Gurkhas over here. One turn, staying on the road. And here we go. Don't roll a one. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's a hit, all right. Okay, ten. Ooh. Uh, no, that's not going to do it. Rear armor? Rear armor is plus two to you. What is your gun? That's uh, a 75. No, but I mean, what pen is it? Five? Oh, um, so you might... Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, so you got a seven. I'm an eight. You got a five. On my rear armor, you get plus two, but I'm an armor eight, so you don't. Yeah, just a pin. Okay. Ouch. All right, next turn. Don't fail your. Uh... Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> when I have a chance to get there, I will fail it. Um. And I think I'm just gonna do that right now. All right, can you turn me and move me to the objective? Uh, you just want to, any particular way you want to be. Crash through the wall. So you just want to, like that good? Uh, that's fine. Okay. And I'm going to shoot at that bastard up there. <laughs> oh, a six. Uh, small team, hard cover. Do I need a seven? And he's down. Oh, that's right, he's always down. So I need another six. Nope. <laughs> Damn. I wanted but, to kill uh, that dude. Him duck. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's a game, isn't it? Not. Oh. How are you going to ever. You can't get him off there. And you can't make it to mine. So at the end of this turn, I will be at the objective. Wow. But I was winning. <laughs> Good game. Oh, man. Uh, Man, finally, that was a hell of a game. Damn, man, I haven't won a game for so long. Well, and that was a hard fought battle, and uh, that was brutal. Well, and you were actually thinking, you know, what are the chances of this guy not uh, hitting? And uh, I almost turned around, I was close to bringing my tank back this way and firing on the Gurkhas and just playing for the draw. Yeah, but, um, but I said, screw it, I'm yeah, going for the win, won. gotta win. So there he is, the wasp, wasp, takes the objective. It's a miracle. Oh, I was, I was really nervous though. I mean, you how was, how was I going to stop those guys? 
I had them, but they would never... Actually, I could have got in the car. Ah, uh, he still would have been there. Yeah. Well, if he was on the road, boom. Drive. Yeah, I can't get out, though. Yeah. I would have not had it. You'd have, you'd have had to have just uh, tried to lay down a whole bunch of fire on me once I had touched the objective. Yeah, try to knock you off it. And yeah, but you can't do that because you can't, you don't have anything to take me out. I have nothing else that, uh, oh, hang on. What's that? I've still got a heavy mortar. Oh, <laughs> all right, roll the mortar. <laughs> oh, God. You're probably never going to let me take another heavy mortar if I make this, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whew. okay. Okay. All right, I game really over. I didn't want to win that way, but. <laughs> we still would have had to destroy it. There's yeah, no guarantee well, you would have. You're plus four, I'm an eight. You would have been plus five because you're... Open top. Or plus one. Yeah, you would have been five against my eight. But you would have rolled like two damage or two dice or something like that for open top. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm glad I won. Uh, I need to win a game every now and then. And Bottom line, I think both lists are really solid. I like, yeah, I'm happy with my list. I'm not happy with that damn free observer but I never am because I always come up with these great plans and it's like, oh, I'm going to, this is my push. And then here comes the free strike and then I'm pinned to hell and For at least that's a it. Turn. And with the uh, Gurkhas, I mean, that's a one, two punch having the Gurkhas. Oh, and if you're pinned down for a turn and I know I can bring them in and dismount. Um, right. And then, then you, it's, who do you want to have die next turn? And then the up and atom yeah. on top of that is just, the British are just really strong. This list, is, your list is really strong because... Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I'm liking it. You um, got all the way over here. Well, I screwed that up. I should have, instead of firing my at those guys, I should have, I was zeroed in on them. I should have dropped my heavy mortar on them right away. Yeah. But, oh well. Uh, so what's your MVP? I yeah. know what yours is. I know what mine is. Well, I don't know. Mine might be a surprise. Uh, um... You know, the free observer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd go with the free observer as yeah. he, he completely was, stopped me cold. He was the main uh, game changer. I mean, the Gurkhas did uh, what they were supposed to do, even though you took out the one squad early on. But uh, man, you had to pour some fire on it and get lucky. I got damn lucky. Um, mm -hmm. Well, if I didn't take them out, and I had two squads of Verkirkas coming? There's no way. Yeah. Um, then I would have had to turn around my vehicle and just fire down the road. Yeah, because I was pretty them. sure I could bring my two trucks back and stall this out. And even if I just had four Gurkhas left in there, uh, it would have been happy days. Um, I don't know that I re everybody else pretty much... Uh, Your mortar did good. Your mortar did pretty good. He did... Uh, well. He yeah, Not as good as my mortar. <laughs> it wasn't, uh, I'd have to say the Free Observer and Gurkhas, um, really what, uh... Well, I have, like, co-MVP, because my heavy mortar did a lot in this game. Yeah. He took out half of this squad, the half that's missing, and he wiped out the rest of that squad. Yep. But my Wasp uh, took out the 25-pounder and got to the objective so i mean you can't get you got he's got to be it yeah that's uh, we'll go with uh wasp as mvp for this game for me uh but yeah it was a great game i i just got lucky if i didn't take out that 10-man gurkha squad in the crater it was going to be really hard for me well and this uh game is a lot about just planning where you need to get lucky because i um, needed that and i got well this guy was just bold. He did get lucky with that first shot on the 25-pounder, though. That was just a that was huge, cause random. <laughs> that 25-pounder's whole job was just to keep him at bay. Yep, and you would have turned and fired as a light AT gun at plus four against his eight. So it wouldn't have been a gimme, but you could have no, done I it. I would be happy to be in a shooting duel with you. So, yeah, my Panzerfaust didn't do any. Panzer Shrek didn't do anything. He could have, but I blocked his uh, line of fire in the first turn. 
Yeah. So your reserves uh, did what they my were reserves. To do. Yeah. They cut down that uh, my advance around that flank. <laughs> uh, yeah, in a roundabout way. <laughs> I mean, they didn't. I was expecting to wipe you out with my flamethrower, not defeat you in an assault that you assaulted <laughs> me in. But whatever, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, and these guys, they did good. I kind of was had more hopes for them coming around, like up there and to the objective. But no, this is one of the better games I think we've had, honestly, just in terms of the strategies we were both trying to do and the adaptions we both made as things fell apart. And, um, oh man, I had big plans for these guys in the middle. <laughs> well, I I don't know. I was gonna. These guys were gonna rush out with the tank. These guys were just going to stay here and fire on the Gurkhas and keep pinning them. Well, stay out of assault range. And I was actually, um, would have been okay with uh, having the artillery not come in because I was just going to bring it back here. Into your own lines? Well, all I had was the guys here at that point. So and worth the risk. Basically, you would have had to have uh, rushed into it or waited for it to, you know, right. come, you know come through so yeah it's uh that pre observer is huge oh it's always huge oh well, yeah i yeah i, I know that <laughs> yeah but uh, i always hear people don't necessarily see it and, uh, well i know every time i complain about it online it's like what well, my free observer never does anything <laughs> yeah well well even i, if, I if think they, one time you one time you didn't you i got to place it well, for him to, <laughs> to not do anything yeah. means that your opponent had to stay spread out, and um, even if he doesn't do anything, it's affecting the opponent because he's having to play around it. Oh, it's, yeah. And the difference is you just usually don't play around it. You just uh, try and blow through it, and it hurts. Yeah. But there's only so much playing around it you can do when you got one objective there. This is true. I mean, i got to get over there, but... You know, I keep thinking maybe one day he'll misfire. Of course, now they made it even better because it's random. Yeah. You know, back in the day when I could place it within 24 hours I wanted. That was a game ender. <laughs> that was, now that was, I didn't mind the free observer. I mean, I still hated him, but at least then I knew there was a chance that I could put the hurting on you. Now it's even worse because even if you miss, there's still a chance you can okay, land one on me. Still okay. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, you still hit me. Uh, but yeah, no one, there's no, uh, secret that I don't like the free observer and I wish that he did not exist nope. that's yes. why we're going to start playing 999 point games because <laughs> under we've been Andre and I agreed over a thousand if you're uh, under a thousand he don't get the free observer or maybe I'll just bring my own free observer so anyway nope. that was it so yeah I like my list uh, Andre likes his list I'm happy with it for the tournament and yeah, I might go with this one. Uh, my Neville Warfer, well, he only got one shot, but he did have it a good a chance. But he whiffed on it. And he got taken out by those machine, light machine guns in one, one burst. So I wasn't expecting that. Um, he could have done some damage. But anyway, so that's it. Uh, we'll be back next time for another battle report.